Hello, welcome to your forecast for the rest of November from the Met Office. The end of the week should see something drier and a little bit colder. But for the next few days, we do have to deal with further rain and there are warnings in force. It's also going to turn pretty gusty, especially through Tuesday, Wednesday and for a time on Thursday. But then after that, it should be turning drier and brighter with some sunshine, but it will also be turning colder once more with the return of nighttime frosts. So that's how the week shapes up in summary. Let's put some detail on, take a look at the bigger picture. Why more rain over the next couple of days? Well, here's your answer. This area of low pressure, quite intense out in the Atlantic. A lot of isobars attached to that. So that will be bringing some stronger winds. But it's the rain initially that we're concerned about in the southwest. But the rain doesn't stop there. It then spreads across most of England, Wales, Northern Ireland by lunchtime on Tuesday and then into central and southern Scotland. Following on behind, it should brighten up a little on Tuesday afternoon. There'll be some bright or sunny spells, but there'll also be a, a whole host of showers coming into the south. Heavy, blustery, maybe even thundery showers at times. With the winds coming up from the south, though, it will be relatively mild, certainly compared to this time last week. Temperatures getting into the teens, still feeling pretty chilly under that rain bound through central and southern Scotland. That low pressure then controls the weather through the middle of the week. It tends to weaken a little bit. It's not as intense, but could bring some very wet and windy weather to parts of Ireland. And on its southern flank, we'll see some gusty winds during Wednesday. So it could get very blustery along the south coast. Again, we have that rain warning in force over southwest England and south Wales. More rain falling onto very soggy ground. And also for Wednesday into Thursday, there's a warning in force over parts of northeast England. Again, more rain falling to areas that have seen a lot of rain recently. Won't rain everywhere all day around that area of low pressure. There'll be some brighter spells spiralling in as well. Temperatures, again, single figures, mostly across Scotland and uh, the far north of England, further south, 11 or 12, but feeling colder because of the gusty winds, especially along the south coast and because of the rain as well. That low pressure is trying to pull away though on Wednesday night and into Thursday. Follow the isobars though, they point up to the north. That's why we're seeing the change to colder weather. Northern Ireland, Scotland, we'll see that first on Thursday, but the rain should be pulling away, so it turns drier and brighter. That rain's still in evidence across a good part of England and Wales through the day, and temperatures will be just starting to fall away, eight, nine at best across the north, and feeling colder because of the strength of the the wind. The low continues to pull away, high pressure building in from Iceland and between the two the winds coming down from the north bringing that colder air to all areas by the time we get to Friday and into the start of the weekend. So we'll see a return of widespread nighttime frosts by the end of the week but we should also see the return of generally dry and bright weather. Now those northerly winds will bring showers down the North Sea coast and particularly across northeast Scotland where there'll be some snow on the hills. Nothing unusual about that, but for most it's just a dry, bright, but cold feeling day with temperatures, look at that, six, seven degrees at best. Add that wind on, it'll feel a lot colder on the east coast. It stays cold into the start of the weekend, but will it last? An area of low pressure is trying to push in. This is a few days away, so it's quite um, uncertain about the track of this low, but it could bring a bit more wet weather across the south into Saturday. Just a possibility at this stage. Uh, but for many, uh, at the moment, the weekend looks like so it's starting cold and frosty, but much of the weekend will be dry. As I said, that rain in the south is something we'll be keeping a close eye on, keeping you updated through the rest of this week. There are warnings in force. Make sure you stay up to date with those. Best way to do that, follow us on social media.